What up, nerds? So, cold plunging. Put your body into ice cold water. Is it worth it? Is it all hype? Well, I've been doing it for about 10 days. 10 plunges. And I'll give you my honest opinion on what I think this whole cold plunge theory or whatever trend is all about. So, who is the start of all of this? Is it Mr. Winhoff? Wimhoff? Winhoff? I think I'm saying it right. Is he the culprit of all of this? I don't know. I've been seeing a lot more people getting into it. I'll be honest, I did cold plunging before. I used to go to the spa, I used to plunge in for maybe 10, 20 seconds, then go right back to the sauna, back and forth a couple times. I felt amazing, I felt like jello, but I never cold plunged for like two, three, five, ten minutes like some of these people do out there in the social media space. But I wanted to get back into it, to be completely honest. By the time of recording this episode, I will be almost 38 years old, so yeah. Recovery time ain't great like it used to be. I ain't 18 anymore. Wish I was, but I ain't. Even 28 would be great, good too, but 38, it takes time to recover. And I just needed something more than rest. I wanted to see if this really worked out for me and makes me feel good or not. So I'm not trying to listen to too much of the hype. I really needed to see it for myself or feel it for myself yeah i don't know before i dive into this whole test theory of my past 10 days experimenting on cold plunging i actually got a cold plunge tub from the good folks at warrior will power so i got this tub and i was thinking first are these tubs really as good as they people say they are or is it just like a cheap inflatable pool kind of thing when i got it it was a freaking heavy box. Like this box was heavy. The tub itself felt about 35 pounds. It was thick, it was heavy, and it wasn't that hard to put together really. It was pretty simple, straightforward. Instructions were there. You know, you have a pump, you pump it up, and then you just fill it up with water. So nothing too hard there. Okay, so cold plunging. When you go on, I don't know what, YouTube, Google search, whatever you choose for your information. You're gonna listen or read up on hype like blood circulation, dopamine levels increased by two, three, four, five hundred percent. You know, your speedy recovery, but is it true? And that's what I wanted to know. Before I give more detail about what I'm about to say here, uh, let's just state the facts. I'm not a doctor. I have no knowledge of this stuff. I am just giving you my personal opinion on my experience for the past 10 plunges or 10 days. Well, day one was the hardest thing ever. And if you're into cold plunging and try for the very first time, trick number one, don't just stand in the tub and wait to go down slowly. That will be the worst thing you can possibly do. It was painful. It was dreadful. It was... Not smart on my part. The best thing to do is just jump on in. Put your body in the cold water right away. What are you gonna expect? Well, expect in the first five to 10 seconds, extreme loss of breath, the panic, the stress of, oh my God, what am I doing? Can I just get out of here? I, I have to jump, I have to get out, I have to get out. Do not get out. Those 10 seconds will pass faster than you think. And then once you Continue your breathing, proper breathing, you know, like <gasps> pull it in and then exhale. Don't hyperventilate. Apparently it's very bad when you go the whole, I would say pregnancy, breathing kind of way to <laughs> all that. Yeah, it's horrible stuff. Sorry for that. Try to do slow breathing. Again, I'm not a pro. This is just me experimenting on the way I think I should do it. And after day number, I would say three, that's when I noticed the benefits, I would say. The I, the biggest benefit I noticed for me was I didn't care anymore about plunging. I just dove, I just jumped in. And as soon as I was in, I'm like, okay, that 10 seconds of panic and pain went down to like less than three. And then it, it just got better and better as the days went on. And of course, there's a lot of podcasts and videos out there and, you know, Googled searches and information on case studies that all the benefits this could have on you it could make you a stronger person, a stronger against colds and, you know, a stronger immune system and recover faster, blood circulation, all this stuff. Do I believe it? Do I think it's all real? This is what I'll say. From my 10 days of doing this cold plunges, I, the number one thing I could say for me 
is I like the challenge of putting myself in an extremely hard situation. So day one was the worst feeling ever. I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I did a slow plunge in and I was like, what the hell's going on? And I freaked out. But a few days later, I was like a pro and I love the challenge. I wasn't scared and I just felt good afterwards. And also while being this 10 day challenge for me, I did have some slight injuries or pain on my shins from jujitsu. So it was, they were always there. It happened a couple of times where I just got like shin to shin hits and like the pain was there for over a week. And I noticed with the plunging, I didn't have that pain anymore, probably after two days. So blood circulation, you know, it just, I felt good. I felt good overall. My muscles felt good and I just felt better. But the question is, do I believe in the cold plunge? After 10 days, I would say, yeah, I do. I believe in it. Do I believe in all the science? I don't know. Is there some science there that's not true? Or is it all hype and this and that? Based on what I feel right now, I feel fantastic. I feel great. I just love the idea of waking up and preparing myself to go plunge in something extremely hard that is actually not so hard anymore because I'm strong mentally to jump in. And I love that. That's the biggest thing I love out of cold plunging besides all the muscle repair and, you know, blood circulation and all this stuff and stronger immune system and dopamine, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure it is great and it's probably some of it is real, but I do love it a lot. I love how I personally feel coming out of the, the plunge. And I've also been challenging myself adding ice to the tub. So getting it colder and staying anywhere between uh, four to five minutes. That's my range. Do I think cold plunging is for everyone? 100% I think so. Uh, you know, think about back in the old days where people used to just like jump in lakes and stuff. And now we're scared to even do that. We're just scared to challenge ourselves or put ourselves into like hard situations. And cold plunging for me is that like, we can do it. Like we're designed to do this. We used to be hunters and gatherers and go swimming and all this stuff. Why are we so afraid to put ourselves in a cold tub? You can do it for even one minute. Just try it out. See how you feel. Try it for a couple days. It's worth it. And what I recommend is I used to try this back in the day with my, my bathtub. And it's not the same feeling. You want to know why? Because when you have one of these tubs and you put it outside, you are, believe it or not, like you feel like you're one with nature. And I'm outside. It's a little bit more challenging for me. So I have to go outside, be one with nature, see how the weather is outside regardless. And I also did it once in the rain. And you just, you know, you're there. It's it's a better overall experience. That's what I like. I only do my plunges outside. So take it as you wish. This was my personal experience on a 10-day cold plunge challenge. And I am a big fan. Will I continue? I think so. I see nothing but good from it. I feel great. It's like, as soon as you come out, you're just like full of energy. So give it a shot. Again, a big shout out and a thank you to the good folks at Warrior Willpower. They have awesome tubs, uh, starter tubs, you know, medium tubs and bigger tubs. The one I have is like the fully big one. Uh, I like that one because I can stretch my feet, give them a look. And yeah, that's it. So thank you again, guys. I hope you appreciate this and go plunging. Have a good one, nerds. Us. Stop, 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 and it broke, 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 and that's just you.